Hello everyone, Brian at PS4 Trophies. Now yesterday I showed you how to get the Platinum Relic in the High Road. I did a step-by-step -step guide, thought it was the hardest Platinum Relic to get in the game. However, many people are telling me the lab is even harder and holy heck were you guys right. In order to get the Platinum Relic on this, you need to get a score of 44.92. So I'm gonna show you a full speed replay here and then we're gonna break it down right off the bat here. I wait actually 0.3 seconds before I get going because what you see here I ran through the electric poles. It looks like it's random. It looks like it was lucky on my part. That is not the case. I literally ran between the electric bolts. Now the reason why I do that is because the entire level is synchronized together. So everything kind of works together. By timing that just in the way that I did, I'm able to pretty much run through this entire level at full speed and not have to worry about any of those electric poles because if you have to stop for at any one of these, like right here, if I had to stop and wait for that to finish, the Platinum Relic is over. Now here you're gonna see I just knocked the lab assistant through the door and it destroyed all those TNT uh, crates. So you gotta be uh, very specific on the angle in which you take out that lab assistant. Now this is, as I mentioned, a very hard level, very difficult to get the Platinum Relic. To get the Gold Relic, you have a time of 56, so it's a little bit more forgiving. It's still hard to even to get the Gold, but uh, the Platinum, holy heck, it is ridiculously hard. Very, very, very little room for error. In fact, there's no room for error. So let's go ahead and do this in slow motion. As I mentioned earlier, when I spawn in, I wait 0.3 seconds. In my head, I just know exactly when to go. By waiting just that short time, I stay on this lane right here and I should be able to pass through the bolts here. Or You'll see in just a second, none of them hit me. They're individual bolts. And you time it just right, you can go right through. It took me about 20 minutes really to get a timing down. I can do it correctly about half the time. So we're not going to worry about any more of these electric poles. There's actually one a little bit later we will worry about. But for the most part, we're just going to cruise on. Now this whole middle section of this level I feel is, is very easy, shouldn't be too difficult, it's not, to, it's not until you get to the final third that it get, can get more challenging. So again, don't worry about this electric pole as long as you got your timing right in the beginning. Now once you have that timing, you have to move full speed, you can't stop at any point. Now here we're going to uh, jump on top of this top box, then drop down and hit the TNT crate underneath. So there's a slight pause there and then we're gonna continue on. Now when you open up this door here, you're gonna have to make a late super jump here. Just to make sure you can get through that. You might hit your head on the door and fall. And then we're just gonna jump around the lab assistant. So just run towards him and then just kinda swoop around him. Jump across here, hit these two boxes, open up another door for us. Now the next difficult section is the next lab assistant. This is where you can kill a run as well. This is where you're going to have to hit the lab assistant through the door. So it'll mean just a moment as we come out of this next room. Let's hit these two here. So as we come up to this lab assistant, just aim yourself so that you can knock them straight through the door. You don't want to knock them at an angle. So I'm going to come over here to the right and then head straight on. Then do my spin, spin again and hit this box. You spin them through the door and it'll destroy all those TNT crates. Of course, when we come in here, we have to make a quick jog to the right there and come back. If you have to destroy those crates, that the TNT crates, your, your run is over. So again, another lab assistant, very easy. Run towards him and then at the last moment, just jump around him. So as we come into this next room, you're gonna have to stop in the middle where the, the box is and you have this little Slimer dude. Now we're gonna have to pause for just a moment and let this electric pass. So there is one the one time that we're actually gonna worry about it in the entire run. Now in this room, we have to jump to the pillar to the left because the floor is gonna disappear and then we're gonna jump straight back and it'll reappear just in time. So the momentum carries. Don't slow down at all. And then this final room, as long as you've been running and do everything, you don't have to worry about the electric here. Now I do bounce off the crate and stop and then jump across. I wish I was better at just bouncing across. I would shave another maybe half a second, quarter of a second. But there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it did, make sure you subscribe. See you soon.